Look at him, just like a tuna, like a green tuna. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to the channel. And I just have to start it off here with a humongous thank you and a salute to hitting that subscribe button because we have surpassed the 1 million subscriber mark. Uh, I wanna thank you so much. It's been over 10 years I've been doing YouTube videos and to finally hit that million mark, it's just big. So big salute to all the fishing freaks, especially if you've been there since the early days. This pond behind me, two kayaks we're gonna do a little bass fishing who's in the picture today it's best friend Craig uh, I thought we'd kick it off with a little old-school action here uh, post million subs getting back into fishing coming from the desert y'all Steph took me out into the desert there was hardly any water I couldn't do any fishing so we're gonna do some fishing here today with best friend Craig and the last time we were at this pond you may remember we did a wife fish off and uh, Craig and his wife won. But this time, being back here years later, we both have kids. The wives are running around with the kids right now. They're you know, playing, kids are going crazy. This is the time where me and best friend Craig can sneak out in our little yaks and just have just have a moment, just, just buds, just buds. Do a little dangling, do a little trash talking, and just have fun like good old times. So let's get in the yak and see if we can catch some largemouth bass out here. By the way, I've got some new lubers that should be money what's the deal today you think spinnerbait well so what's the program yeah i was gonna tell you so give me the scoop i mean you, you can I can, you can catch them all day throwing shallow frogs yeah oh on the right on the edge oh my they'll destroy it kind of making me want to put on a frog dude so here's why here's what i got that's the thing like you're not gonna catch that dude check these little frogs up though these are these are not Officially out yet, but look at look at these little slurpees. Beautiful dude. size. My Beautiful goodness. size. You want one? I do. Do you have a dark one? Well, oh, that's bad. It's dark. I had a blue colored one. I'll take this one. That's okay. beautiful. That'll catch him. Is that weighted or what's? Is that just protection so it doesn't go in there? It's a, there's a weight in there. There's a little balance so you can chuck weight. Them. Yeah. Nice. A butt weight. I am very excited about today's little adventure because every time you come to a little, let's just call this a, a private pond. It is exciting because, let's be honest, fish are seeing less lures. They're more apt to hit um, artificial lures, but they also get dialed in on little, certain little things, you know, whatever the pond's being stocked with or what, whatever's in there naturally. But if you figure that out, it's, it's just game over. Craig, I think you've caught your PB out of here. I think that fish was over 10 pounds on a frog, largemouth bass. PB LMB, 10 pounder on a frog. It really doesn't get much better than that. That's that's kind of what you'd look for in life. I still dream about it. <laughs> so we've got these new little frogs we're working on, these smaller sizes, and uh, these look just so good. Usually the detail on smaller baits is, is tough to get down, but both the hard baits and these frogs, these little hollow body filthies look great detail on them is fantastic so we're gonna see if we can get bed on this little baby because that just looks like fun I've got it on a, a spinning setup 20 pound Guggen Squad braid this is uh, just the finesse rod this isn't the, the light version this is just the finesse so with that braid we're gonna crush I like that a lot all right let's go do some work crush. about to get real nasty in here real nasty i kind of want to go to some frog waters cypress stumps over done i'm all about it so we got a little bluegill color i i normally throw either like a bone or a black that's usually my two favorites um but Bluegill does have its place sometimes. Throwing this on a spinning spinning setup too is kind of kind of cool. Yeah, tighten down that drag just a little bit. So have you caught one on a little 
prod yet? The, no, this would be the first. No one has caught caught one on one of these little frogs yet. I want to see it first fish on a new bait. Boom! It's a little harder to get that side to side walk. There, there it is a little bit, but you definitely have to have a proper setup to do it. Again, this is the smallest hollow body I've ever thrown. Oh, yes! Yes, Craig! Craig with the first one on a frog. Nice one, dude. You asked about retrieve. That was just sitting there. Sitting there, okay. Oh, there's a boil right here. We might be getting into them. That's about, that may be like average or slightly under average. That's pretty good. Wow. Craig just got him a nice two and three quarter pound largemouth. Oh, oh, I missed my first one. There you are. All right. Golly, oh man, I was so, I was so excited. Sorry, Craig, I'm drifting on your, oh, you're good. your stuff here. <laughs> well played, hit that thing before me. <laughs> It's the wind, bro. I can't. Oh, oh got him. He is. Oh, oh, come on. Dude. Oh, you're going to break my rod. Oh, sorry, man. You're good. I'll steer you in the right way. You can yeah, yeah. Grass. Let me That's cut good. you off real quick again. I'm so sorry. That was on the pause again. Look at me going straight to the tree because of the push off. <laughs> Put my friends first, though, you know? <laughs> Love you, man. Love you. Yeah, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, my oh. gosh, dude. That one just, dude, he didn't eat it though. You were on the hard pause, weren't you? I was on the hard pause. I literally saw his belly. Look at it, look at the boil here. Pausing. I heard that one. That had the base in that boil. Yeah. I've also got a wind knot in my line, which is it's never what you want. There it goes. Okay, I've had uh three blow-ups. I might need to check if there's hooks on this thing. Like did we put hooks on this frog? Mm. Oh, one of my hooks was uh, embedded. That could be part of the issue. Oh, Hopefully by now the wives have realized the boys are gone. There's not much we can do. Just got to take care of these kids. in that brush that was beautiful oh yeah it's a good one too he's tugging me look at him tug me oh it's so good i have a scale by the way i don't think he's scale worthy but he's definitely the biggest we've seen Oh gosh, it's gone. Oh dude, he just spit up a crawfish. He just spit up a full grown crawfish, man. Yeah, they have them in here. Look at that, folks. First fish on the mini, the mini filthy. Go Amy. Absolutely beautiful. Amy, look. Daddy got a fish. We're doubled up. My man. Oh yeah, we gotta do a double dad pick. Double dad pick, kiddos. One, two, three. Got it uh, for the, hey, 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 no hey, 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 look, look at the fishies. <laughs> say bye bye fishy. Raleigh, say bye bye fishies. Make sure you don't grab any ants, buddy. Bye. See ya. One last jump. Come on, get you some. No. <laughs> Did you just go on there? Yep. Oh, that was fun. Is that first catch? That was first for me. Craig's got what, four? Four or five. I've had three blow ups, but that was my first landed one. Nice move, by the way. Come in for the photo, cut me off. You like that? Yeah, this is a veteran that. move. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised I got him out of there. Yeah, was you, you were right in the thick of that cypress. I was, I was in it, yeah. He ate it while I was in there. 
I, I let that one eat, so it was like he pulled it into the cover. Oh my gosh. That's what you like to see. Yeah, that was fun. That was a fun moment there. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy do his deal right now. What are you doing, big boy? What are you doing, big boy? Oh, yeah. Right in the nose, too. This is a good sized fish, man. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, come here. Little bulldog, yeah. Just he like hefty. That's not the average, like, right there. dude, that's. Uh, I'm gonna say it's three and three quarters on heft. Absolute chunk ball. Stuck him good. That's where you want to stick him on the frog right there. Beautiful fish. Starting to get a few sores from the summer post spawn, but just well fed, baby. Well fed love to see it let you go by the cypress tree so you can get back on there and eat all those delicious little treats see you baby <laughs> oh that's fun oh man you know verdict's still out on uh on the hookup for the frog you know frogs are the worst thing in the tackle box for hookup ratios um i do like the, our full-size frog the full-size filthy on our hookup ratios i think it's a good mix of uh, body hardness and hookup i don't like frogs that are too soft because it sometimes defeats the point of where you're fishing them um, but i have missed quite a few fish on it so far there's a smaller gap in these hooks so um it's going to make it a little trickier to hook up but those last two absolutely slurped it so i think i just maybe need to let them eat <laughs> a little better it could be that as well but uh that was extremely fun y'all and i do i do like this setup i just feel like i can skip this thing so good if i want to skip it and then once you do get the fish hooked up just having that uh that flex and the rod is is pretty helpful but you got to have braid there's no question I, I think 20 is your friend with this size frog it's probably going to be where you want but if you put too much pressure on them with a light braid you will break them off it's like these, they swallow the frog and you got those teeth just sandpapering your, your line going back and forth uh you gotta you gotta have a little give you gotta let them run a little bit because if you just straight straight up shank them and there's no drag or anything and then they're shaking their head they, they can saw through your line so you know it's the balance it's the angle and the dangle all together that gets the fish in the boat and makes you feel good there's something very satisfying about catching a fish it might have been in a bluegill or something i don't know it was weird do you see that i heard it it was like it could have been a hybrid dude it was it was it was definitely a pop, but it didn't wasn't like a bass pop. Oh, Got him, whatever it is. That could be a bluegill. Really? No, it's a bass. <laughs> That's a good size bass. God, he sounded like a bluegill. Well, those are what, that's what the big ones do. They're just like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's gone, too. I can feel the line on his teeth. Wow. Power, the power of suction, Maybe you know? A retie? Might be a retie here, yeah. You filming that one? That's good. Yep. We are, we are filming. Woo. Right on that point there, this, this is gone. This is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the average size, I would say. It's not as big as that last one, but uh, down the hatch, 100%. Let him eat at that time. Yeah, I paused it for just a second. There we go. See you, big boy. Very nice. Oh, that's fun.
that was kind of an open water one there you can definitely catch catch uh bass on the open water situations with a frog that's usually where i kind of work it a little faster especially if you got clear water and then just do your pauses around the real grassy stuff like craig's in right now but that one was weird i could have swore to you it was not a bass because just the pop sounded like a little bluegill pop or something but that frog disappeared and set the hook i let him eat it that second time and this thing from the bottom you know it kind of looks like a shad or a bluegill but overcast days i usually go with a dark color you're throwing black right correct yep. yeah it's typically the program oh did you see that? yeah i did that was a good one. This this spot right here is literally set up for spawning, and these fish should be all up on the edges of this area. Just little May fry garters heading into the June topwater fun times. I still have the frog I was using on that Toledo Bend trip, that little black frog. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, it was just a little bit bigger than this one. Yeah, it was. It was a popping frog, but they were definitely eating that better. You ever, oh my gosh, I got one under it. Oh my gosh, dude. I got one freaking... No, dude, he's sitting under it like a shark. Frog? On the frog, dude. I was like, what is that white thing under my frog? Oh, it's a bass. He was sitting there when it was paused. I thought he was going to come slurp it. Curious there's something about being in a kayak when you hook hook a big fish like that and it's literally pulling you around it just i don't know it feels different it's pretty cool there's not a whole lot yeah as far as landing fish though out of a kayak it's so easy to land them you know whereas like a bass boat you're dealing with you got to uh, get down and a lot easier just put your hand your hands like already right here Uh, oh, I just had one on that point. Got him. He was a slurpy too. This could be the one. Oh, on the paws. Actually, it's not big. I'll take it all day. Yeah, even this guy's pulling me around. That is just... Oh man, there's something about like that pause and then they eat it. That's so cool. The, the way they're eating this frog out here, y'all. Extremely healthy for a fish right there. Extremely healthy. For post spawn fish, that's amazing. The way they're eating this frog, it's really on a pause. It's like it's, it's bringing out the curiosity in them and it's key. So. Woof. This is fun. It's fun times. We're, we're almost to the juice. And this is where Craig has caught his biggest bass out here, 10 pounder, back in this cove. Unfortunately, all the bass in this lake died after a uh, unfortunate uh, fish management situation. Um, but uh, we were just talking about it. He said that here recently in the last few months, they've had some fish shock that are over eight pounds. So they are in here. There's, there's probably uh, one close to 10, I would say. Oh, I was out of ways, man. There, I didn't get a hook in him at all. There we go. Yeah, little pause action man yeah boy oh there i go he spit me uh he wasn't uh he wasn't that much bigger than the last one dude but they're all just so healthy let's drop my rod in the water I'm so excited that pause is so key right now so key oh my goodness Woo 
I, I'm starting to get a glimpse here. It looks phenomenal. You ever had a big one just hit you right next to the kayak in here? Scare you? Scare the hell out of me. Yeah. Oh. They are, it's such a loud, aggressive pop when you're that close to it. You don't even realize, you know, when you're so far away. Can't believe I haven't been billy clubbed right here. Oh! Oh! Oh gosh! Oh dude, I had a big one right here. Oh my gosh. That might have been a hybrid. That was mine. Yeah. Not kidding. That was, that was body, man. Dude. Oh, that's, that's a hybrid. He's following it? Yeah. Dude, I had a big one just boil me. Didn't completely eat right here. Yeah, sure. Lee. That was a scary one. I was looking at your fish. Oh! And it, I just had the frog sitting like a rod's length away from the boat, and it was just big ass boil around it. I mean, dude, on the point, on the point next to deep water, too. Probably one of them girthies. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yep, just a little pop. He's not that big, though. I'll take him all day. He followed the program though on the pause. Yeah, baby, gave me some of that. Yeah. Now, how come you just slurped it and the other one didn't? Ooh, goodness. You pull him. Ooh, girl, I love it when you pull me like that. Mmm. Is bass fishing just not the best? It's so fun. I, I, frog fishing has to be the most fun in bass fishing. If I'm if I'm trying to pick a favorite thing, I love me a jig bite, but the visual slurps and the sounds, it's a full blown audio and visual experience. And let's not forget the smell of a nice, healthy grass bass. You know, I gotta sniff you, darling. This might be the last bass I catch today because we're on time restraints being parents out here, but. Oh God, I love you so much. Oh yeah. One more for good luck. See you, sugar. Thank you for following the program and visiting us here on Lake Fort Guy Fishing TV. Yeah, I think so. I think we got ourselves a good one here. I mean, that blow up was, look at him turning me, dude. Look at him turning me. Oh my gosh, he's working me. This is a good one. That sounds like it. Oh, baby. I love you so much. That might be a five. Uh, yeah, I think it might be. It's getting up there. Look at him just like a tuna, like a green tuna. Just enjoy the ride, man. Oh, man. It's so cool. I've already done a 360 in my kayak. That uh, thing's gone. Gonerville, man. Jeez. Might have been the one. He came back. Yep. All right. Come here, sugar. Oh, spitting up crawfish, too. Oh. These babies are eating some craws. They're eating craws and frogs. Ooh, child. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely a four. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Definitely a four. Oh, my goodness. I could end on that one. I'm not, but <laughs> I'm definitely going to make another cast. But oh, my gosh. I don't know if this is the same fish that had me. I can get my whole fist in there. And then look at this. See if I can, oh, I tried to eat my finger. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's crawfish just spewing out of that thing. That is 
just everything you want in life right there besides an amazing wife and kids which we already have so that's just a delicious bonus go ahead and smash that like button oh smash it for four pounders eating frogs oh into the deep my goodness my goodness high five boy bam oh buddy thank you for the invite me and craig were just talking about you know we've been fishing together since we were kids and uh we still act like kids when we're fishing together because of those kind of moments right there that we just don't we don't forget we don't take for granted i'm really digging this combo you know i'm so used to working a frog with a bait caster in this hand that this this arm is getting a little tired uh, but i can actually work it pretty good with the bobs it's really hard to get a walk out of it when it's this small but they're eating it on the bobs the uh, frogs holding up really well and the ones that that have eaten it so far it is just it's just gone and that's what i've seen on fishing smaller frogs like this is fish that get a little timid on a bigger frog uh this one's just gone you know i mean you still catch big fish on on the frog it's just it's a little smaller and it goes down the hatch a little bit easier you know you know I've, i finally got that fish i was working back there but he's not quite the size that i was thinking i thought he was gonna be a logger headed ninny muggins just look how gone it is though it's gone smallest one of the day for me but it is disappeared just came right out oh see ya baby nice one, sir. little frogs getting eaten we are gonna end it right there ladies and gentlemen i caught a few more fish gopro died but to be able to come out here and fish a, a new bait these these little frogs um the little filthy I, we don't even have a name for it yet this is like one of the funnest baits to throw in bass fishing history is a frog you know me and craig were talking about we went to toledo bend years ago and we were kayak fishing and i still have the frog i still have it it was a, a little smaller frog a little popping style frog and it's just being able to i was able to get that in between uh, pads and working a little bit better and they were just eating it better there's there's times where a smaller frog does come into play even though this frog is small I was able to get good distance on it that's that's really key and to be able to do that throwing on spinning gear is the program you got to have braid I recommend 20 pound uh, 20 pound braid is uh, is like the perfect balance between abrasion resistance and castability you'll get more castability with a smaller diameter line but you're not going to have the abrasive resistance uh, so 20 pound is perfect and i was throwing this on our Guggen squad green series finesse rod it's a seven foot uh, and it's a it's a medium power fast action you know it didn't have the drag all the way cranked down i had it where you know fish could pull a little bit but unlike where i have on my bait casting frog rod where it's just cranked down and you get that bite and just Put the screws to them so really fun to throw this i'm excited about the uh the possibility of skipping this up under docks uh and just skipping it up under trees and things like that and it is literally the perfect pond fishing bait we're in a large pond right here uh, and the natural forage is frogs they stock it with bait fish um, they also have some crawfish but they it's naturally just loaded with frogs so this little baby around your local ponds now this bait isn't available yet like i said this is just something we're tinkering around with but uh, i have a feeling these are going to be happening you got one on bud oh crappie that's the second one two cast man are you serious fish fry tonight. me and craig had an absolute blast out here uh i thought it'd be fun to come fish with him and uh, me and craig have been fishing together for since well since we were young teenagers so we we're just like kids again out here today so i hope you guys had fun watching and happy frogging this summer i salute you thank you for subscribing thank you for smashing that like button and we'll see you on the next one folks i know that's you know she's gotta she's gotta get warmed up
good there cast. you go good cast Emmy good job look at that look at your fishy swimming in the water whoa good cast 